Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here we're going to look at a saturation mask but using some different effects and particularly looking at adjustments. So very quickly let's make a uh, saturation mask. This is covered in the original uh, basics one so I'm just going to go very quickly through it. So here we got the saturation mask and very quickly uh, I'm going to use the auto levels here to stretch the histogram so it goes from white to black within here. And uh, then I can go to the channels, go to one of these um, down here, create spare channel and rename that and that's going to say that is our sat mask. Okay. What I can do before I start doing other things, I'm just going to show you, you can use this mask actually to affect this. So I can go to the normal here, go to overlay, or even better soft light, that's a good one. And look at the effect this is having. Look, turn it off and turn it on. And what it's doing is the lighter areas are getting the soft light effect. In other words, the areas which have more got colour saturation, not with the white, with a colour saturated. And so you've already got that here and you can always mask out the top area if you want to just have the light here exaggerated. So this is useful. You've got things like light in the forest and stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to put that down the way there and go up here. What can I do? So, um, first of all, let's try an HSL. Why would you think you do an HSL in saturation? Well, let's try it and find out. So I'm going to go to the sat mask here, right click on there, load HSL. And now when I try the adjustment here, I'm changing just the saturated colours more off. And so things like the clouds are staying white. And I can say, well, let's have a sort of a uh, purplish sort of sky. Should want to make that more purple? Turn up the saturation. And there we go, it gets purple, more and more purple. I want to make that lighter, we can go this way with the luminosity, or down here, so you can get kind of a night effect. Again, with the light, the clouds just kind of nicely sitting there. One of the things I'm going to do as well is if you want to play with this thing, here's a sort of an extra tip. If I go to layer and you fill layer, just to get myself a white thing and we're going to make sure this is white if I need to necessarily change that to white and what I'm going to do with that is go down here to the um, composite blue for example and create a spare channel and what I've got down here now is just a white one so I can just delete that one again if I'm on the HSL layer and I want to see what it's like with just the HSL by itself not with the saturation mask I've got a white layer so I'll go right click on that load to the shift and I'm effectively Whiten that out again so I, I've restored it to how an ordinary HSL would work. Or I can right click on the saturation mask and add that so I can switch between the two fairly easily. Okay, what else can I do? Let's have a look. We can also, we can do a fill layer as well. Let's go back to another fill layer and let's make it kind of a nice sort of orange colour. Orange is always a good colour to colour things. And if I put this in to something like overlay, it's pretty orange. But um, if I want a bit more control of that, let's go and put a mask on it. So go to mask layer, click there, that adds a mask. And then the mask layer there, right click on the sat mask and load that to the mask alpha. And I've got some sort of orangey things here. But if I control I to invert it, look, let know our Blue in the sky is left alone. The clouds got a nice little bit of orange in them and it looks more like an evening scene. And we can do all kinds of other things. So let's 
look at, say, well, we can recolor, can't we? And change the color of the whole thing. And when we get to something that's interesting, we can always right click and load that up there. So gain more control, play with the saturation. So it's a bit like the fill layer and a bit of HSL as well. Um, what else? And one more, then let's do an exposure. And this is kind of fun too, because normally when you put exposure up and down, you just blasts out to white or to black. But now if you put the saturation mask on that, now if I turn it up, it goes interesting. It's sort of like a high key type effect. You know, blacks and are contained and, and you know the greys are still there. So the detail is, is kept and everything else goes light. And the other way, again, instant light scene. So there we go. Here's a whole pile of things that you can play with. Shows the power of using the saturation mask. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.